I just did it. Okay. Mr. Levy, thanks so much for having um, be able to do this small interview with us real quick. Yeah. You, you went to four AFC Championship games in a row. Which one, what team did you think was the best out of those four teams? Oh boy, that's a, you know, it, it, honestly, uh, I tell you what, you tell me which hand made the noise and I can tell you which is it. <laughs> uh, no, they, they were all, all had their good marks. Probably the first one we went and we uh, we won the AFC Championship game by a large score, 51 to three, more mm -hmm. in our hometown. Came within a whisker of winning it in of the Super Bowl that, uh, two weeks later. Right. So if you had been, but you know along the way we also to get to one of them we were a wild card the third year and uh, we had to come back in one game from a 32 point deficit without Jim Kelly being healthy. I remember that. Uh, Frank greatest, Reich. Was that Frank Reich? Frank Reich. Yep. Greatest comeback in, in NFL history. Yeah. So most people don't realize this in your career, but you actually helped coach the Eagles at one point. Can you talk about that two seconds? Well, that, that was my entry yes, to the uh, National Football League. Uh, George Allen had just hired the first special team coach in the history of the league in L.A., uh, Dick Vermeil. Yep. And uh, a man on the Eagle staff, Dick Stanfell, now in the Hall of Fame, yes, by the way, recommended to Jerry Williams, head coach, he said, hey, if you, that's a great idea. Marv Levy loves the kicking game. You ought to see him. I was coaching down at William and Mary at the time. That's awesome. And was, was offered the job, and uh, it sounds great to go into pro football. So I entered. One year later, Dick Vermeil left to become the head coach at UCLA, and George Allen hired me to come out with the Eagle, with the Rams. Oh, wow, wow. Last question will get you out. Um, we talked about Jim Kelly in there. What did Jim Kelly mean to the Buffalo Bills? Oh, wow, boy. <laughs> what? Actually, Jim Kelly arrived in Buffalo a half season ahead of me because I was hired in mid-season of 1986. The Bills had just gone through two consecutive 2-14 two and 14 seasons. Jim Kelly arrived and he was joined by some pretty good other guys high on the draft. Bruce Smith, Baron, Andre Reed, so on. And uh, but Jim Kelly, wow, he was the quarterback. Was he ever? They needed, and he had the right guy with him in Frank Reich in yes. those days when maybe he was a little banged up. Frank now coaches for the Eagles, so he took a lot. From, you know, he helped you guys out a lot. Yeah, yeah. So. Frank Reich, great person as well as a great uh, player and an outstanding coach. I think he will one day be a head coach in the league. Frank Reich was the guy who led, as we talked about right. earlier greatest comeback in NFL yes, history. He also led the greatest comeback in college football history. I did not know that. As an assistant, as a second team quarterback, I should say, behind Boomer Esiason. Wow. Well, Mr. Levy, thanks so much for doing this interview with me. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Is it? You just I, I don't know. That's fine. Mr. Levy.